All right, guys, so welcome to week eight of my squats, dip, and chin program. Right here, you can see 41 and a half kilos, neutral grip chin. This is actually an all time PR for me on this neutral grip, so very happy with that, especially since, as you'll see now, the weight flew up really, really easy. Um, I was even surprised at how easy that went up. Um, so it, it's boding well because I was stalling on my regular chin up variation at 44 for two, was my absolute maximum, couldn't budge that getting a lot of singles of 44 so i'm feeling like you know if i keep pushing this variation up that uh 44 kilo plateau on my um regular chin up that's going to be a thing of the past then i can move on to that 50 kilo goal for three reps uh, but here was one of my squats this week and this was done with you know psyched up to music however the squats and sorry the dips and chins that you see in this video uh, that's completely not psyched up at all very relaxed no music um but this is a PR in and of itself because even though I got a single rep with 105, which I've done in the past, I've even got a double, I got very, very good depth on this rep and my mobility's definitely been paying off. Like, um, just getting to that depth in the squat is no longer an issue. Uh, but obviously, because I've increased the range of motion, it's slightly harder. So although the squat progress this week hasn't been exactly great on paper, my actual depth, range of motion in the low bar squat is improving, so there's that aspect definitely to consider. Uh, what you just saw on the screen there was the dead stop dip, by the way, 51.5 kilos for the second day in a row for a single. On the week 8 Wednesday, went up, absolutely flew up. Today on the week 8 Thursday, bit of a grinder with the 51.5, but the difference was is that on the Wednesday, you know, I had loads of music playing and everything, got quite psyched up. On Thursday, no music whatsoever, really relaxed. So, um, you know, I'm very happy with that anyway. I know I've definitely got more to give on that dead stop dip and neutral grip chin up. So I expect them to progress very, very nicely going into week nine. Hopefully getting up to 54 kilo dip, 44 kilo neutral grip chin, which is what I stalled out on the regular variations. But what I'm hoping to do with these uh, new variations, which I switched to is exceed my old numbers. And then that way, when I go back to the regular dip, I'm hopefully going to get 54 for three and then I can move it up and go towards my 60 kilo goal. Same thing with the chin up, neutral grip chin up, hopefully get that number quite high. Then when I go back to the regular chin up, get 44 for three and then I can get back up and get on that 50 kilo chin up. Um, but honestly, deloading the weight for me and changing the variation seems to have really worked wonders. Um, because these numbers are flying up and I'm thinking this feels pretty easy at the moment for the dead stop dip and neutral grip chin up. Um, so yeah, might have to try a similar thing on my squat perhaps. I'm just, you know, I really want to see them numbers go up week on week on the squat. So it's kind of an ego thing that I don't want to just think actually for a week, maybe I'll just back off do some singles of 95 or something. By the way, I have been doing singles of 95 every single day. Um, that you see training on beltless uh, with the squat so that's become very much ingrained so very confident with that uh, another thing that I'm thinking is if I can't actually seem to budge for whatever reason it may be 105 for more than a single um, then I'm gonna have to boost up my uh, last warm-up set which is the 95 beltless currently I'll probably try doing 97 and a half kilos beltless Get that beltless PR there, a good depth, low bar squat, and then go in and get a 105 single. That way I'm still kind of progressing. Um, but, you know, I've got plenty of ideas if we are stalling. But, hey, look, if you look at the grand scheme of things, it was only week seven where I managed to bust off that 102.53 and get up there. So I'm not really too concerned. I would have liked to see that 105 for three in this week eight. But, hey, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to come in week nine. But if not, that's a sure sign that I need to deload and we can deal with that accordingly. Uh, but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, and if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment. Anyone who's commented on a previous video and I haven't got back to you yet, I'm going to be going through all my comments on my um, YouTube studio thing to make sure I'm up to date with all of that. Um, so don't worry, you don't have to repeat your question unless you want to. Um, but yeah, I hope all your training is going well, like I said. And... You know, please let me know if anyone's tried out that dead stop dip variation because I think it's really, really interesting. I've not seen a lot of people do it. I don't really know how well the carryover is going to be yet myself, but I am intrigued to see um, because 
it seems like in theory, as far as I can um, logically think about it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good way of boosting up the regular dip. But anyway, until next time, guys. See you in week nine.